Hey, how's it going, you guys? Today we're going to be talking about web browsers. I'm going to be showing you a few web browsers that I uh, use a lot and uh, what I would recommend for you know whatever platform you're using. So anyway, let's get right into it. First, we're going to start up uh, Apple's Safari. We're going to take a look at that. As you can see, the startup time was pretty fast and uh, works works well. So I have it set to default to go straight to the Apple Store right when I started up. Did just that and. Uh, pretty smooth and like I said started up very fast now the overall look of this is very simplistic uh, it's, it's rather nice I you know if you're just an average person who's just wanting to go on Facebook maybe you know their email and whatnot uh, you don't need something that um, I guess isn't junky but is just just has a lot on it you know a lot of extra stuff that you're never going to use so this is pretty nice it's simple uh, like I said works pretty smooth um, it's not the fastest on PC, so if you're using PC, at least uh, from what I found, it is not the fastest. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, it still works and works fine, but it's just not amazing on PC. On Mac, it works seamlessly, so that's good. Now up here, we've got, of course, our help uh, window for minimizing, checking your downloads, uh, bookmarks, history, drop down, uh, all that stuff, you know, very basic stuff. And of course, right here you can <coughs> excuse me add on different uh, bars. I've got three bookmark bars right here, so I can just drop those down, get to my bookmarks real quickly. And uh, I've got Apple and Wikipedia set right here, so that I can just say hit Wikipedia, and uh, I go right to it. <coughs> now I can also go my uh, show my top uh, websites I frequent the most that I can just add on here for easy access. So that's nice. And I can go to right here, go to my bookmarks bar, and check my bookmarks again. And then, of course, we've got the history again. Um, so yeah, that's all. That's all pretty nice. And uh, like I said, works well. Then, of course, we have uh, the new feature reader right here, and uh, that works well. I really like it, especially if you enjoy reading articles online. This is definitely going to enhance your experience. So that's good. All right. So now we're going to out of Safari and we're gonna start up Google Chrome alright so Google Chrome started up pretty much same speed it was uh, definitely very fast and responsive so that's good now I've got it set to uh, Google as default that's good now again just like Safari on our uh, bar up here we've got help window you know basic for you know just about any Mac browser or uh, just any app, uh, Mac application you'd have this up here and then uh, for right here, for this bar, right here we have got more, which we can go straight to, say, blogger, uh, videos, photos, reader, uh, books, uh, mobile, you know, all that stuff. And you can uh, put on even more, which you just by clicking this down here and put on some more. And then up here we have calendar, documents, mail, news, YouTube, maps, images, search, Google+. Plus. And uh, I believe you can customize all this and add in whatever you want, so you can put it in Facebook or you know, Twitter, whatever you want. Um, so I think this is pretty nice, uh, considering I frequent YouTube a lot, and of course Google Plus and uh, my mail and everything. <coughs> it's pretty handy, so I can just you know, click right on that, and it'll take me right to there, which is you know again it's similar to what Safari has that we were looking at just a second ago. Um, but in my opinion, I think this is almost a little faster. I feel like Google Chrome is a little bit faster. Safari is still definitely fast, but this is this is a little bit faster. It's much more simple. If you're just wanting a web browser to, you know, like I said, go on YouTube, uh, go on Facebook and Twitter every once in a while, this is perfect. It is super fast, works great, very simplistic, easy to use. It's, it's just really great and it's fast on both Mac and PC unlike Safari like I said is not as it's still definitely fast on uh, PC but it's uh, it's just not as good <clears throat> as it is on Mac uh, this works perfectly on both Mac and PC I have it for uh, of course my Mac and then I have it on my PC as well because it works awesome okay sorry my voice is kind of giving out there <clears throat> all right so we're going to get out of Google Chrome and we're going to start up Firefox. All right. So as you can see, the startup time was pretty fast, about the same. And uh, the only reason why I have Firefox personally is for its plugins. <clears throat> it's not an amazing browser. It is 
it's fairly slow. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's not amazing. Like I said, the only reason why I have uh, Firefox is for its plugins. For instance, uh, this one right here. Let's see, yeah, Rainbow, and that just allows you to pick up any colors you find on the web, and it gives you uh, the the number of that you know color, so you can put it into Photoshop or After Effects or whatever, and you can get that exact color or shade or whatever. So anyway, that's nice. And there's a bunch of other great uh, plugins that I really really like that you can get on Firefox that you that they don't have for any other browser. So anyway, that's nice. Other than that, uh, I personally wouldn't use Firefox. It's kind of slow, and um, definitely is not as user friendly at least in my opinion as uh, Chrome is so if you're looking for something very user friend friendly uh, get Chrome Firefox if you want something just to get a bunch of awesome add-ons for if you do a lot of uh, graphic design and whatnot uh, it'll definitely be handy so anyway that's the only reason why I have Firefox and uh, that's about all I have to say on that matter alright so there we go there we have it now Internet Explorer, of course, um, <laughs> I uh, don't have. Now it's, I, I'm not gonna go, you know, talking trash about it or anything, but um, it's definitely not amazing. Internet Explorer 8, um, though, I have used it a little bit, and it's it's better than previous versions of Internet Explorer. Again, it's not amazing, definitely not to the point where I would uh, download that over, say, Chrome or Safari. Uh, but it's better. It is better than previous versions of uh, Internet Explorer. So, uh, other than that, I I just don't like Internet Explorer. It is very very slow. It it just does not work the best. So I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if you if you really really want to go through Internet Explorer, eight is definitely the way to go. It does work good. Like I said, it's better than previous versions. But again, don't fool yourself thinking it's the best browser out there because it's not. It's not at all. Uh, but anyway, guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Um, final thoughts, I would have to go with Chrome. It's simplistic, it is fast, probably the fastest out of them all. It works seamlessly uh, for both Mac and PC. You're going to be getting the exact same experience uh, for either platform. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.